Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a salad for you guys. For you guys. And it looks like this. So it is spring mix, crispy onions, fuji apples, um, pickled beets, and avocado. Yum. I'm an adult, I promise. All right, guys, so yum. She's so pretty. My avocado is right there. Apples. Crispy fried onions. And I always like to put a little black pepper on top. So, I'm just gonna eat, but if you like to watch people eat, I'm people, and I'm gonna be eating the salad and using a voiceover to give you guys my helpful tips. As you can see, nothing special, stiff wig for working out, workout shirt, um, I'm in workout shorts, um, and in workout mode as far as my diet, so, I wanted to eat a really delicious salad that'll fill me up. No meat, just really, really delicious. Ooh, it would've been good to add some beans, some like kidney beans or garbanzo beans, but that's okay, next time. Yeah. You'll hear a voiceover with my helpful tips and tricks of losing weight. Um, I was 255 pounds. I wanna say it was closer almost to 259 at some point. You know, when you fluctuate a little bit, you had that extra bagel and it takes you over, but I say 255 was my heaviest, and you know, it's been a struggle, but I am down to around 202, 200. So I've lost a total of 55 pounds, and what you'll be hearing is my tips and tricks on how to motivate yourself to lose the weight. Um, and it's really all a mind thing. You truly do have to be ready to do it for yourself. Um, but when you are ready and need the motivation, these tips that you'll be hearing um, hopefully will help you guys out with that while I eat this delicious salad. I also have, if you can see that on top, I thought those were beets, but um, some of those darker red pieces are sun-dried tomatoes um, by Bella San Lucci. So delicious. Um, they come in olive oil with an Italian herb seasoning. So the sun-dried tomatoes that I get, and I love them in salads, I love them in everything. I could just eat them out of the jar. It's so good. I'm drinking a Shasta Old School Cream Soda because so good. And my dressing of choice is ranch. All right guys, so here's my helpful little tips that helped me in this uh, amazing weight loss journey that a lot of us have found ourselves in. Number one is start slow, even with just walking, even just walking at home, even just walking at home in place, indoors. I started walking with Leslie here on YouTube and I used to get an awesome workout just from that. I then moved on to playing a video game and walking in place while I played. It's a simple old school Sega game named Flicky and you get lost in its simplicity and fun that before you know it, you have played for an hour and your workout is done. Also, walking to the beat of your playlist or favorite motivational speech can help distract your mind from 
your workout and have you walking longer. Take a picture of how you look on day one to compare to day, say, 30. It may seem horrible to see yourself in a state where you're trying to remove yourself from, but when you see your progress, it's all worth it. Setting small but attainable goals for yourself at the start of your weight loss journey is imperative. And this can include calorie counting. Cutting 500 to 1,000 calories off my daily intake can result in a pound of weight loss per week. So I set a calorie deficit goal to reach. For example, I take 500 calories off of my normal daily eating intake. That way you're not changing what you're eating right away, just the amount of it. It can be as simple as drinking water over juice or soda for the day. Something that is a sacrifice and takes some effort but is not so daunting that you give up and give in because it's too strict. You'd be surprised the benefits just the smallest changes can make in your health journey. Eventually, I moved into trying intermittent fasting. This is where you have an allotted amount of time per day to consume food and you also eat what you want during that period. Your body burns through the calories and starts burning fat during prolonged periods of fasting. Now is drinking this cream soda the best idea? No, it wasn't, but I'm gonna show you my diet and right here a few of the items that I do eat on a regular basis, which makes the cream soda okay for a little treat here and there with certain meals. Just eat less, exercise more. It's really that simple, but can be so difficult for us to accomplish. Where I find great anonymous support is right here on YouTube. The comment section on this app are unmatched where you can input a title for a video and have thousands of people verbalizing their opinion experience and viewpoint on any number of topics weight loss videos are really just a catalyst for forums to be created between like-minded individuals who identify with the struggle and oftentimes you find amazing gems in the midst it can be a lonely road when self-motivating to lose weight sometimes it helps to just know someone out there relates a lot of times, the comments are better than the videos attached. So take time to watch documentaries of others who have succeeded. We are here. We might as well help each other lean on each other to get lean. So hopefully my videos will add to this never-ending weight loss discussion and we can all gain. That apple is so good. Also something to remember is don't let water become an afterthought. It's a very important catalyst in your weight loss and the overall health of your body. Set a goal of drinking water by the day parts, not the full day. It can seem difficult to drink a gallon a day, but when I break it up throughout the day by parts, it can be more attainable. For example, I'd set a short-term goal of two bottles of water in the next hour. That way, I'm focused on a goal that is beneficial, but not impossible. For a pop of flavor, a lemon squeeze can be quite refreshing and is actually very valuable to your body. Lemon has pectin, which is a fiber that can lower blood sugar levels. Lemon is also um, a really natural uh, mood lifter, and I was surprised to learn about that. Energy booster and stress reliever, which also aids in the health of your skin. It contains vitamin C and B6, which B6 I read converts food to energy. It can also be responsible or aid in dopamine, which helps our body focus in full pleasure. So for a pop of flavor or a boost of energy, don't forget your lemons. Hey, how are you? Not today, maybe later. It's a nice day. Well, I'll see you around. Chanel. Another tip I've used, which isn't unheard of, but very helpful, is leaving an insulated water bottle by your bed before you go to sleep and in the morning. It will be still cold and refreshing to start your day off right, loosening your joints and your muscles, 
and available to hydrate throughout the night if you get thirsty. The fact that it keeps the same cold temperature throughout the night is a huge bonus and sure beats the typical disposable 16.9 ounce water bottle. Which brings me to my last water tip. Get you a new and fun water bottle from Amazon or even your local 99 cent only store. There are so many different styles, colors, shapes, and sizes to choose from that will fit your personality and lifestyle and really help in encouraging you to reach your daily water intake goals. Sometimes it really is all about packaging. Also guys, watch people's documentaries and testimonies on YouTube for their weight loss journey and document your own. Exercise in a place where people can hold you accountable. I like to run outside, as you just saw, um, in the same spot where cars pass by me. It's a little people watching moment for me, but also if you're routine enough, those people will start to notice your dedication. Neighbors, passerbys, they'll start to expect to see you. The gym isn't for me, but it helps a lot of people to have people around. It silently motivates you. Sometimes when I'm running outside in place and I see a neighbor leave, I try and run till he or she gets back. Or the mailman, if he's down the block, I try and run until he delivers all the way to my mailbox. Journal, journal, journal. You can start by just writing down how you feel. Emotions run rampant during a weight loss journey. You can expound on specifics like short-term goals you have accomplished or are attempting to. You can jot down and document your weight from day to day to monitor any fluctuation, write down progress, failures, and affirmations. Write down healthy meal plans and track daily steps. I also suggest downloading a free pedometer app. That way you can challenge yourself to more steps every day because the app will keep track of your progress day to day and week to week. A pedometer app will also show you the calories you burn, which is helpful in monitoring your diet and your weight loss. Treat yourself to a new workout outfit. If you look good, you feel good. And for some reason you work out a little harder and longer. A new article of clothing cute new workout shirt, leggings, shoes, cute visor, or hat can make all the difference. Celebrate your triumphs and successes. Every little thing. Your body weight dropped one pound. Celebrate that. You were able to drink two bottles of water in one hour. Celebrate that. You walked a thousand more steps than yesterday. Celebrate that. All these little victories tend to get lost in the shuffle from day to day. Remember, you are strong, you are healthy, you are proud of your body and what it can do. Speak positivity into your life and don't forget to pat yourself on the back from time to time. Spend an evening when you're relaxing before bed and add new music to your playlist to switch it up for your workout. The beat of music can impact your workout in a positive way. The faster the beat, the faster your feet. Also, listen to motivational affirming videos set to music. Positivity can really make your legs run longer. Also, music can help encourage you to keep that same pace. It can help distract from becoming bored or feeling as tired. Music is its own timer for your workout. If you're doing a certain set, you can time it for the length of the song while still moving to the beat. Music can also improve your mood and endurance. Don't be too hard on yourself and listen to your body when it tells you it needs a break. My body and brain has to be on the same page. It's a mental thing. Take advantage when your body cooperates with your goals, but listen when it's not and rest when appropriate. And lastly, videos here on YouTube of beautiful scenic images can help translate your mind to another world. People have taken their GoPro and filmed the most beautiful, aesthetically pleasing walks you can imagine. You can walk in Hawaii or Fiji right from the comfort of your own home. While you view the sites, you can be listening to your favorite playlist. And just like that, you're in another land, all from the comfort of your own home. <sighs> it was jam packed full of different flavors and textures. Loved it. I hope you guys got something out of the tips that I gave, hopefully you can take them and run with them, literally. There, trust me, I've been there. These are things that worked for me. Hopefully they will work 
for you. So I will see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay motivated.